And welcome to episode number 94 of this Diamond Dynasty series as tonight your Queen City Punks take on the Atlanta Badgers live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. First pitch is coming up next. Slitting up today's game will be Ray Durham hitting 321 home run, three RBIs. Whitey Ford on the mound. His first pitch is taken downstairs on Mother Earth. We're underway. Something's off here. Here's the pitch. Is taken downstairs again. It's 2 0. Am I playing the punks? Am I playing my own team? Here's the 2 0. Trying to bunt his way on. That's a good one. He's got to hustle it, though, and he won't make a play as Pujols, and Durham has a leadoff single. This game is broken. That'll bring up Franco hitting 268. Batter from the right side of the plate against the lefty, Ford. 268, nine home runs, 14 RBIs. He popped it foul, and it's 0-2. Here's the pitch. Runners going. And a foul ball. And Franco strikes out. That'll bring up Albert, the St. Louis King, hitting 156, four home runs, five RBIs. And he pops it up. Catcher, I believe that's Soto by the plate. Yes, it is. He makes a catch for out number two. We got Juan Soto hitting 268, eight home runs at 11 RBIs. Lefty against the lefty. The pitch. And he fouled it back. It's quickly 0 and 1. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball awfully late. Expecting something else. Fouled back. We'll do it again. Go back. Do it again. The pitch. Runner goes and he's strike three. Swinging and Ford strikes out Soto. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. I'm out of words. Bring up Ken Griffey Sr., hitting 316, two home runs, eight RBIs. Roy Oswalt, the newly acquired punk, on the mound. Here's the pitch. Is swung and swung out and missed. Oswald's 0-1. And a breakable hit high and deep to right center Soto. Can he get there? Yes, he can. And that's the out number one. Good play by Juan Soto. We have Ricky Henderson hitting 358, eight home runs and 17 RBIs. First and average. Here's the pitch. It swung out and missed on Mother Earth, and it's 0-1. Oswald out of the Houston Astros organization played for the Astros, Phillies, and Rangers in his career. Pitch is taken downstairs. But during his prime, it was with Houston. The 1 1. Swing it or miss. He was pretty good with Philadelphia, too. That Philly staff was stacked, even though they couldn't get the job done. Here's the 1 2. Fouled back. We'll do it again. Go back. Do it again. Oswalt's 1-2. Swing and a miss. Sit your ass down. First strikeout as a punk for Roy Oswalt. I'll bring up O'Neill Cruz hitting 178. Three home runs and five RBIs representing the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. Here's the pitch. There's a breaking ball. Nobody's getting that one. That's a gap shot all the way to the wall. Corbin Carroll, the new with punk center fielder, picks it up and he'll throw it in. And now he's caught in a pickle. And they tag him out. <laughs> I was too busy concentrating instead of calling the play, but that'll end the first. No runs, one hit, no errors. We'll go to the top of the second. Still no score. So leading off the end, it'll be Jason Bay hitting 268. Five home runs, five RBIs. Swing and a miss on the first pitch fastball. Ford's 0-1. In the air to right field. Going back is Stargell. He's there. And he makes the catch for out number one. Ball 
Oh, we got Adrian Gonzalez looking to help himself here. Looking to get his first hit. Playing first. Pitch is taken outside. Represented the Dodgers organization. He also played for the Padres, Red Sox, and the Mets. In his career. The pitch. And he swung and missed. But it was with L.A. where he really showed off. What are you doing here, man? Quit pausing. Lefty against the lefty. Here's the pitch. In the air to sh opposite field, left field. Henderson under it makes the catch. Front number two. Bring up Jason Kendall and his return to the punks. Jason Kendall. Spent, the team, spent time with the team last year. Was their number one catcher pretty much all season last year. He returns to Queen City. Pitch is taken for a strike. Represented the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. Also played for the Brewers and the Royals in his career. Pitch is fouled back. It's quickly 0-2 on Jason. The 0-2. It's taken way downstairs. Look out in your feet. That's 1-2. Here's the pitch. In the air to shallow center. Senior coming in. He is under it, and he makes the catch front number three. One, two, three. Go the punks here in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. Queen City nothing, Atlanta nothing. This is Queen City Punks baseball. Bring up Willie Stargell hitting 282, five home runs and 10 RBIs. Representative of the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. The late great Willie Stargell. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That curveball is nasty right now. It's 0-1. Oswalt's 0-1. Taken way inside. Woke him up there. Oswalt looking to have a good inning here. The 1-1. Taken way outside. It's 2-1 now. The 2-1. Swing and a miss. Blew that fastball right by him. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Sit your ass down. Second strikeout for Roy. We bring up Albert hitting 351, seven home runs and 15 RBIs. Had a great 21-year career that ended in spectacular fashion. That is a great location, by the way, on that 12-6 curveball. That was painted perfectly. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Slider got two of them that time. The 0-2 to Albert. Swing and a miss. Sit your ass down. Back-to-back -back case for Oswalt to begin the second. Here we have Joe Morgan, former punk, hitting 324, one home run, two RBIs. The late great represented the Cincinnati Reds organization. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Oswalt's 0-1, Joe. And a ground ball. Nice dive except by Gonzalez. He knocks it down, and he flips to Oswald for the out. What a play by Adrian Gonzalez. Knocked that ball down to flip it to Roy for the third out. We'll go to the top of the third. Still no score here in St. Louis. Here we have Corbin Carroll. First at bat with the Punks. One of the top prospects of the Arizona Diamondbacks organization. He replaces Michael Harris at center. First pitch is a ground ball to the first baseman. Gonzalez and he has he's safe I don't know why he held the ball too long but Carroll has his first hit with the punks the pitch and it hit him and two runners will be on as Oswald gets hit by a pitch and that's the last thing you want to do as the opposing pitcher is to hit the opposing pitcher and that'll bring up Ray Durham the pitch both runners take off and no throw as both runners are safe in scoring position and Ray Durham has a chance to bring them all home. Swing and a miss. It's now one and one. Good base running today by the Punk so far. Pitch is taken way outside. Oswalt back to the bag. Don't want to injure that hand, though. Very rare for pitchers to slide like that. Ground ball foul. He was out in front of that ch change up. It's two and two. The pitch. High fly ball to shallow center. Will this score the run? 
Oh, it drops, and that'll score possibly two. Rounding third, and coming home is Oswalt. Here's the throw, and it's the catcher's all the way to the mound, and two-run score on the triple by Ray Durham. Mercy! <laughs> I don't know if they'll count that as an error. Oh, no, they count it as a hit. Okay. Frank goes up. And he crushes one out to right field, going back as the right fielder Stargell. He's under it, makes the catch, tagging is the runner Durham. Here's a throw by Stargell, and it's not it. Oh, no, they got him. What a throw by Willie Stargell. Unreal. They get a 96 speed Durham. That's, that's a great throw, man. That's a double play, a two out sudden. Whew, that'll bring up Albert. He's 0 for 1 with a pop out back in the first. The 0 one. Or the 1 0, excuse me, swung on a miss. Now it's 1 and 1. Here's the pitch. And he smacks one out to right field. Nobody's going to get that one. Beats the shift. And Albert can run for a while. He's on his way to second. And he's going to stop there with a two out double. Good hit, piece of hitting there by Albert getting to that opposite field. I'm going to bring up Juan Soto, who struck out back of the first. Looking for a little revenge here. Lefty gets the lefty. Oh, nice slider. Swung out and missed. Got him out in front a little bit. Here's the 0-1. one it is way outside. It's 1-1 one and one on Juan Soto. Bay on deck. Here's the pitch. And he crushes one out to right. Going back is Stargell, and it's gone. Let me see it by. That's Soto's ninth of the year. And the Punks are now up 4-0. Got that inside breaking ball and did not miss a stitch. He has been red hot at the plate. That was a laser at Bush. Look at that. <laughs> that was just smoked. Play the fucking game. And if you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. Tell your friends about these videos. I'm going to see you in episode number 95. Final score, 4 nothing.